I'm here with Chris from Buddy Pole, and they've got something new and interesting yeah. for the show. What's going on, man? Yeah, and well, first, hey, how you been? Hey. I haven't we started to, started been a to crazy wonder weekend. about you a little bit. Yeah, there. well, I, I had a very late, I had a difficult day getting here yeah. to the show on, on Friday. Okay. And so I've been a walking gotcha. zombie for most of the yeah. weekend. But okay. yeah, how's it going? How you been? <laughs> yeah, well, we, we had a similar thing and uh, got here a day late, but we got set up um, late uh, Thursday night. And uh, it's been a good show and good traffic, good weather. We got lucky. So this year, um, number of storms in the area, but... Yep. We, uh, we made it past that. Um, so our Power Pro device is kind of building on the legacy of our Power Mini solar controller, yep, which yep. you're familiar with. Mm -hmm. um, our Power Plus device, which is um, used in the shack or in a vehicle, DC power supply in, and then um, you know we're connecting a battery to it, and it's keeping that battery charged. So it's a uninterruptible power supply rolls straight over to that battery that's mm -hmm. always kept. Peaked up. So this is something you'd use for a vehicle, yeah, motorhome. Right in a vehicle, mm -hmm. motorhome, yeah, but um, you're operating off the car battery, mobile, and you stop and turn the ignition off. You don't even notice, and you just continue continue with your QSOs. Got it. It's going to roll over to that backup battery. It's got a boost function in there, so mm -hmm. it's keeping that, that backup battery peaked up at right. whatever, depending on the chemistry you have, so 14 volts. And so what we kind of taken the the best things out of both of those added a few things in our new power pro device uh, see what's going on here is that our output select so we can choose if we want to run off of um, the dc power supply if i click on that well i have nothing connected to it at the moment so um it's going to be red but if i roll over to the battery there select the battery i do have an active battery set up so it's showing that's gonna be what is powering these devices off the right side. We have two sets of Anderson power poles up okay. to 40 amps, and then a USB um, two uh, output there for charging phones and things of that nature. Mm -hmm. This does have a boost feature. So if your panel, solar panel, and it's MPPT now, by the way. Oh, wow, okay, cool. Um, if your panel is only putting out 11 volts, it's gonna boost that up to to charge your battery up to 14 14.2 volts for example mm -hmm. um, you're getting some current there you're not going to be getting a lot mm -hmm. with that lower voltage right but um you, at least you're getting some some current and uh so we can go through a few of the menus real quick yeah this is a a fuel gauge here oh i see that okay cool yep. yeah, um, i was wondering what that was yeah and um so Couple battery chemistries, the lead acid and the uh, lipo fours. Mm -hmm. um, we can charge with uh, up to ten amps. Oh wow, ten most, amps, cool. Most of the time, I wouldn't be charging with that much. <laughs> right, for, right. You know, right. but if that battery's low and you need it in a hurry, then yeah, yeah, hit it with a full ten amps for sure. And, and then we get into some of the system reporting. Um, looking upside down here. So, oh, I went back. I'm sorry. Let me hold, hold on there. Yeah, you have to learn oh, to do this yeah. upside down. Yeah, that's, 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 <laughs> all weekend. So again, we have the um, the cutoffs, the 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 low low trip voltage and the upper trip voltage. So once the bat, that's protecting the battery, just from preventing it from getting too low or too high, and those are all customizable. Um, so some uh, alarms you can set here. You can. Um, uh, select the voltage for that yeah or just to warn you that the battery's getting low and then some of the system reporting like we have on the uh, on the power mini mm -hmm. um since oh, you hooked sure. it yeah. up yeah. how much power have you have you pulled out since, right um you first connected the solar panel or actually it doesn't even rely on that it's what's coming out of the battery the solar panel's charging the battery and then we have um the amount of uh of current um that have that has come in from the solar panel and the peak, it's shown in wattage here, but nice. peak at, at some point during that cycle, what was the peak coming in from the panel? So yeah, quite a bit of system reporting and uh, oh, cool. um, yeah, some ways to, to save your settings. So, so you can have a default configuration kind of thing to exactly. your flavor and then it just comes yep. up that way. Yep, what you're charging the battery at, all those different settings. Yeah. You can save all that. Is there a way to have it auto switch? Right. 
So like so, if you had a DC connection, but say yeah. the vehicle wasn't on, and then you had a solar panel on the roof, like could it auto detect? Right, and we we do that with the with the auto function there. Oh, auto. Okay, I see it. Yeah, uh -huh. and that's that guy right there. So oh, because that's going to be based on your output. Um. So your output right. when you have it on auto, does it like preference itself if it's battery first and then fail I, over I to think DC? It's, I it's DC power supply in. Mm -hmm, it's mm -hmm. going to be kind of the default on it. Got and, it. Um, but you can you can deselect these as well. Yeah, so. sure. I can see that. Yeah. Yep. That's pretty cool. Yeah. What's so. your uh, what's your plan on retail space for this? What's this going to run about? In the mid 300s, probably okay. 329 to 349. Cool. Still, still deciding on that. Got some component things that we're dealing with with the tariffs at the moment. But <laughs> sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Looking for looking for different sources, but and, um, and for those that are interested, is it okay if I? Yeah. Uh, for those that are interested in like rack mounting it for like a go box, do you have any ideas on a design for like a arm some, or some handle yeah, or something we, like that? We haven't done anything there yet. Some other people have come up with some some different mounts for that. But, this one um, seems you could just almost have like a, a, a gripper almost, you know, on the side right. that just holds the back in and you'd probably be fine with that because you've got flush top and bottom. So that's right, pretty probably easy. Probably those Lido mounts has something. Yeah, like, something like that. That'd be cool setup. That would do that. Yeah, I love it. That's awesome. That's that's really helpful for, again, you know, the the folks like me who have a go box where I want to, I, I have a power supply in it. Right. But oftentimes I'm not, I'm not near power. So yep. I use the solar. Yeah, and so I need to balance the solar power, you know, with the with the DC in and whatnot. So what I've done in the past is just use some Velcro on the back, uh -huh. like the hook on the back oh, and sure. the, the loop on the other side or yeah. something. But um, yeah, probably a, a mount is in our future. We've, yeah, it looks we've, good. We've played around with a few designs so far, but um, everybody has a different use case. It seems like. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> so when uh, when do you think you're going to have it come to market and? Where can they find it? I think, well, directly on our website and will be the only place you can purchase it. Which is? Buddypole.com. There you go. <laughs> and um, it's mid-July is that first smaller production run. And then after that, we'll go into a larger production run, which would be, you know, probably um, September. Cool. That's yeah. excellent. Yeah. Well, thank you, man. I That's appreciate coming. it. Again, thanks, thanks for Josh. Yeah. Thanks for talking to me. I, yeah, man. Always good to get these things done on Sunday when it's nice and quiet. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, I, I like Sundays. Yeah, thanks. <laughs>